Ticks officially live in my head rent-free for half the year, every single year, and I was just wondering if anyone else shared this deep hatred of ticks. I feel like a few years ago, I didn't even know what a tick was. And then I got dogs, and now ticks are so burned into my brain that I get something I call tick anxiety. But can you blame me? L look at this. Tick apocalypse. Is a global Lyme disease pandemic coming? It's already here. Tick, tick, tick. When Lyme kills. Tick. Apocalypse. Also, I do have to say pretty epic website. Someone else clearly passionately loathed ticks and for good reason, ticks are the literal worst. So let's just consider this video my tick PSA because I know some of you might be like, Hannah, why are you making a video about ticks? But ticks are actually a major and growing public health concern and it is tick season, my friends. 90 tick species, all of them suck blood. All of them can carry disease, and all of them are incredibly difficult to kill. Swelling up to 100 times their original size. Lyme disease is not the only tick disease to worry about. Nearly indestructible. They can live underwater for three days and- A menacing mouth. Covered in hooks. We are just getting started here and I am already itchy. These aren't even the worst clips of ticks either. The worst clips have to be those viral videos of people and animals with like massive quantities of ticks all over their entire body. Like how did you end up in this situation and why are people watching these videos to begin with? Tick videos are even popular enough that this channel named themselves Tick Media. <laughs> and can we just look at some of their videos? A strange tick on the face of a sad boy number 39. These aren't ticks, okay? You see a tick once, you know what a tick looks like. That is not a tick. Okay, but that's literally glue. Like, you can see the glue. <laughs> what are these, beans? <laughs> I guess they've resorted to gluing nuts all over these children's back in order to get those tick views. Like, can anyone genuinely think of a creature worse than a tick? There are a lot of creatures that get a bad rap, but they generally don't deserve it. Sharks, for example. One of my other least favorite creatures, very scary, but a very important part of the ocean's ecosystem and generally not as dangerous as we've made them out to be. On average, they kill only five humans per year. That's it. Another slightly more relevant example, spiders. Ticks and spiders are both classified as arachnids rather than insects. A lot of people don't like spiders, but spiders have many redeeming characteristics. They eat other bugs, they mostly keep to themselves. The silk that they spin is such an incredible substance that we're trying to find a way to harness it for use in things like bulletproof vests. Not to mention up close, spiders are actually pretty cute. Just for reference, let's look at some other bugs close up. And then there is the tick. I do understand that cuteness is not a proxy for overall validity, but for me, it's a start. And it's just one of many redeeming characteristics ticks could have, but don't. But let's just start from the beginning with ticks. Ticks are parasites that feed on the blood of humans and mammals. And they've been around so long that even dinosaurs had ticks which points to one of their absolute worst characteristics, these things just will not die. Obviously they survived the ice age and they continue to possess this extreme resilience. If you try and flush a tick down the toilet and it gets caught in the bowl somehow, it can survive underwater for three days and can float right back into the bowl. I used to think that ticks would die or at least fall off when you took a bath or shower, but ticks are like, bitch, we survived the ice age. You think we can't survive a hot shower? Ticks have even started developing a genetic resistance to pesticides. So their offspring are literally just getting stronger from us trying to kill them. Not to mention, we don't even have any sort of game plan to get rid of them. My first thought was maybe we can just nuke these ticks off the planet. Especially because they're an invasive species that are mostly just detrimental to the ecosystems that they find themselves in. Like they don't even do anything positive in the ecosystem. But I looked into it and there's no real like hope, I guess, when it comes to getting rid of them. Like we're just we don't have anything. Apparently possums love eating ticks, so potentially we could just import a lot of possums, but that's literally where we're at. Our best hope in the fight against ticks is a possum army, which would, you know, all be fine if ticks weren't literally on a quest for your blood and didn't carry over 16 different types of diseases. Patient, I think I feel a new mole on my back. If I ever find a tick on me like that, I'm actually just gonna ask the doctor to put me down. I don't think that I can deal with that. There was another video that I wanted to show you guys, but the woman just privated her account. The video that like basically inspired me making this entire video. Her story was about being on a hike with her dog and I guess her dog 
sat on a tick's nest. She brushed her dog when she got home, but she didn't notice the tick nest, which had been hiding in its fur, I guess. And then she brought that nest home with her into her bed, which she later discovered while asleep. She kept feeling itchy. And then one time she turned on the light and noticed that her entire bed was infested with ticks. She rips the covers off, picks up the blanket and runs through the house with it and tries to throw it outside. But in the process, drags ticks all throughout her house. And she ended up contracting Lyme disease from this incident. I saw another video of a girl who got a tick somehow on her eyeball. Like it really is one thing to have this nasty creature embed itself into your skin or into the skin of your sweet innocent pets, but it's quite another level to also have to stress about getting potentially life-changing diseases from it. Lyme disease cases are exploding and it's only going to get worse. I don't know who decided to create tick apocalypse, but I do feel like it's a little bit much. I particularly dislike the addition of these animated ticks on the screen while you're reading. But yeah, the tick population is projected to get bigger and bigger as the climate gets warmer and warmer. And it seems like every year for the last three to five years, scientists have been going, it's gonna be a particularly bad tick season this year, folks. And also tick season is projected to be earlier than ever. How early can these things go? How can every year be like the worst year for ticks? <laughs> Also, we do have to mention that there's some sort of super tick now. Seriously, I can't make this up. There's literally a super tick now. Extremely worrisome. <laughs> Savage tick clone armies are sucking cows to death. Experts fear for humans. Ravenous swarms of clone ticks have killed a fifth cow in North Carolina by exsanguination. That is by draining it of blood. These super ticks literally killed adult cows by sucking too much of their blood. Not to mention these ones have the ability to clone themselves. Like what the fuck? Is this not the most horrific creature on this planet? Like you cannot make this shit up. The only semi comforting thing I've learned about ticks is they don't actively hunt you down like I thought. They do sense heat, carbon dioxide, oxide and breath. Yep, just like Predator. But for a while there, I thought that if you came into their territory, they would sort of kamikaze down from the trees and like launch themselves onto you. And I've actually been avoiding this really nice little nature trail near my house because if that is the scene I've been imagining. But turns out ticks can't even jump and there may be one endearing quality is that they actually hunt for their food by crawling up blades of grass and then waving their arms, hoping to catch a ride. Hello. They call that behavior questing, which again is somewhat endearing. I'll give them that. Ticks move pretty slowly and are totally reliant on you coming into direct contact with the spot that they're waving. So that's at least something. Ticks can also be found literally everywhere. Tall grasses, wooded areas, backyards. Ticks are out here ruining picnics, hikes, beautiful meadows. That's what they're up to. But usually your city will have a map telling you what areas are most likely to be infested with ticks. The best treatment is really to just avoid getting bitten in the first place and if not that, then to detect the bite as early as possible. Most ticks take at least 12 hours to transfer any sort of disease to you, but more like 36 to 48. So if you do detect a bite early enough, it's really not that big of a deal most of the time. And they also won't be as gross because they'll still be pretty tiny. <laughs> According to one study documenting where ticks were most likely to be removed from the human body, thighs were number one, groin number two, then scalp, armpits, belly button, and the back of the knees and ears. When it comes to dogs, the areas are a little bit different you want to check the head first and clean the ears and eyelids between the toes, the groin and armpits and around the tail. And keep in mind, those are the main places, but not the only places. So you really do want to check your dog's entire body and your entire body. And keep in mind, you want to check not only the day you go on the hike, but like the day after, because they might not have attached the first day and they could be just wandering. Whereas the second day they may have attached and that's a whole new opportunity. And like I said, if you catch it early enough, it's really not that big of a deal most of the time. Other tips include wearing tick specific bug repellent, long pants and tall socks, showering as soon as you come indoors to potentially knock an unattached tick off, washing your clothes in a hot washing machine and staying on cleared paths while outdoors. I feel like this was kind of a random video, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to hate on ticks together. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this random video and I'll see you in the next one.